how to make a great DIY audio amplifier project that you can proud of, share to fellow audio hobbyists in the social media like forum and moments, and have a live demo in several shows like Maker Fair and the Arduino Day. Guys, this is the content of my video, so if you like to know it, how I did it, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. <music> DIY Amplify Build Hobby has been enjoying by many individuals around the world. It provides a lot of self-fulfilling by appreciating yourself, what it can do, and finally, enjoying the benefits of listening to a hi-fi music in our daily routine. But I go beyond that, it's because I am actively sharing my DIY build, telling everyone with my collaboration with my team, a team that empower who helped me to make this project, and showing this project to major shows like the Manila Mini Maker Fair, and even fly to different places to showcase like the Arduino Day. I'm telling everyone, this project is awesome. We're in a group of Facebook we call DIYers. There is a bloody uh, DIY making amplifiers that uh, is uh, fashionable with audio amplifiers. What is the secret, you may ask? This amplifier was brewed in an FP forum with about 49,000 members. We're actually looking for a simple, decent, and easy to build for audio hardware starters. And uh, my team, we come up with a solution called Campana, which later I call it based on my build, Nathan Winterkamp. Thanks to the real designer, Nelson Pass, the Amp Camp Amp, which is awesome, simple, and magnificent sound quality. To make the project uh, something special, I made some changes uh, by not using an external heat sink. Yes, uh, it should use a big heatsink because uh, this is a class A power amplifier. So the major things I'm going to implement here is that I'm not going to use an external heatsink as other DIYers normally does. Instead, I'm going to make use of the aluminum case as its heatsink. This may cause an issue because of the fact that class A generate a lot of power. Well, that is the truth. Another fact. So I do a lot of tests, tests here, tests there, and a lot of tests on temperature. And later on, you know, I call this project as a Winter Campana Amplifier or simply Winter Comp for short. Which, in case I failed, then this amplifier will be used only during the winter season where. My place in China goes down below freezing point. It's actually a um, winter campana amplifier. It's an escape goat name because the, I'm not really sure at time if uh, this method of mechanically uh, removing the heat sink will fail or not. So you know now where the project name came from, the winter campana amp. Makes sense? I am not fully convinced uh, when the environment is uh, like about 36 degrees uh, like the Philippines uh, as my test was done in November which is a bit cold in China. So what I did was uh, I need to make use of an intelligent controller to do the monitoring, checking and making a fast decision. What it does in the protection is to monitor the temperature and it will shut down the system when it exceeds the limit that will solve my worries. The other thing the Arduino does is it provides me a good human machine interface or HMI with a nice Nextune 2.4 LCD. This is another awesome. And uh, one thing more is that uh, I need to inspire my fellow hobbies to do a better DIY audio amplifier by making their DIY build, talk to the user, 
using a powerful MMI or man machine interface. Isn't it good if you display your girlfriend's name or your wife picture on your masterpiece? For me, the picture I'm displaying in front of the front funnel of my amplifier is my Nathan baby. But wait guys, you may ask why I need to use an Arduino solution as I'm using and making a tutorial for the legendary the Intel 8051 Core Micro? Well, I just have to open my mind, keep learning, and keep improving. I'm also learning the 32-bit micro called STM from ST Electronics, and I invested a hardware and time. It's actually the future, so I need to take care of it. One of the good things in DIY is that you can do all the idea running in the nerve of your brain. All you have to do is download it and put it into a real action, real world performance, whether this is a circuit, mechanical design, or software programming. All right, go DIYers. I told myself I must finish this on Christmas Eve almost one month when I started the project and run, I did it. Here is the completed Nathan Winter Camp on Christmas Eve, providing the nice music while embracing the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. The family was enjoying and the atmosphere can just be described as awesome. <laughs>